Here we are again, attempting to find how a low carb diet affects our blood cholesterol levels, but with a twist. In this content, I'll be showing you some data on how a low carb nutrition primarily made up of saturated fat and the same diet made up of unsaturated fat affect a series of health parameters from cholesterol to blood fats to insulin sensitivity. If that's what you're here for, then let's dive into the study. Learn Your Body, a science-based education. As usual, the study and my notes along with follow-up amendments are all linked for you. Now, I understand this is only one study and you may want more science on a particular outcome. So, be it cholesterol, insulin, blood sugar, or some other. So be sure to check out some of the other content I'll have for you to strengthen your knowledge on a particular outcome for yourself. You'll find these series of studies linked for you, but I'll remind you at the end of this content. For now, let's focus on what's at hand. The researchers of this study recruited 20 people, men and women, all relatively healthy and normal weight, and took baseline measures to test their blood cholesterol, blood sugar, triglycerides, that's blood fats, and insulin sensitivity before they were placed on a strict low carbohydrate diet. Then all the participants were placed on a low carbohydrate diet that's high in fat, about 15% carbohydrates and 60% fat. Energy intake was maintained to stable weight. The study lasted only five days, so it's pretty short term, but all of their meals were prepared for them, so there was no deviation. Now, the participants were split into two groups. One had their low carb, high fat diet made up of saturated fat, and the other group had their otherwise identical diet consisting of unsaturated fat. Finally, their baseline values before starting each diet were similar save for their blood cholesterol, which was higher in the saturated fat group before starting their low carb nutrition. Now, what did the researchers find after five days of a saturated or unsaturated fat low carb nutrition? Well, some pretty striking results. One, total and low density cholesterol, also known as LDL, increased only in the saturated fat group, meaning unsaturated fat had no effect. However, turning our attention to high density lipoprotein associated cholesterol, also known as HDL, there was no change in either group. That means that for cholesterol overall, there's an increase in the blood from the consumption of saturated fat. However, was that true for blood fats or triglycerides? Nay, not so. There was a significant decline in triglycerides from consumption of unsaturated fat based low carbohydrate, high fat nutrition. However, this was not seen in the saturated fat condition, although it didn't seem to increase either, just that the unsaturated fat decreased it. Finally, how about insulin sensitivity in measures of blood sugar? Well, here's an interesting turn as blood sugar decreased in the unsaturated fat condition, yet didn't budge for the saturated fat condition. However, it neither changed the blood insulin levels. So if we have the same amount of insulin in both conditions, but less blood sugar in the unsaturated fat condition, this would likely mean there's a greater insulin sensitivity with the consumption of unsaturated fat. Overall, that means less insulin is needed to shuttle sugar out of the blood, and this was actually directly confirmed by insulin sensitivity measures showing increased insulin sensitivity with unsaturated fat, but no effect from saturated fat. So if you'll indulge me, I'd like to also add a final data point related to ketosis for those of you that are interested. It seems that the unsaturated fat diet also allowed for greater ketosis as beta-hydroxybutyrate, a primary ketone produced by the liver was more elevated with unsaturated fat consumption, although saturated fat also increased the ketone amount to a degree. And I just wanted to add that as an added note. So anyway, onward. Unfortunately, the researchers offer no mechanistic physiological explanations for the results achieved. So we'll need to investigate those as we dissect other studies. However, what we can conclude from this study is that a low carbohydrate, high fat diet based in unsaturated fat reduces blood sugar, increases insulin sensitivity, and lowers blood fats, but does not seem to have an effect on cholesterol in any way. However, the same nutrition consisting of saturated fat 
has none of the previously mentioned effects, but does raise total and LDL cholesterol. So that means if you wanna hop on a high fat diet and you want to keep your lower cholesterol or maximize insulin sensitivity, reducing blood sugar and triglycerides, opt for mostly unsaturated fat. But hey, if you're unconvinced by a single study, I'd recommend you check out the link content where you can learn more in a different study or jump to the overall final verdict using many studies to get to our conclusion, assuming I have it up already. And again, I'll link both of those for you. And with that, I hope to speak with you then. Bye.